Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 62 of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, uh, we had just learned the clear skies to be able to go through this little wind barrier here. And now, we're going to head all the way up to Parthenax to talk to him. And we'll deal with a couple things along the way, I assume. Yeah, those are not really strong enough to hurt me. So we don't really need to waste the shout on those. I mean, we can use it on it, and it'll clear up sight lines, but it's not really necessary for my health. So we'll just skip all that for now. We'll just run through those little spots as we come to them. Um, I have a feeling I'll probably be overweight. Well, over my carry weight, anyway very soon, so I'm going to look for something I can drop before it comes to that. Um, do I really need to carry this anymore? No, I can drop it. Cool. Um, that's mace etiquette. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to carry that for right now. And hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty much good on that for right now. Oh yeah, that was a Forsworn Arrow. <laughs> I heard it, like, flopping around, and I'm like, what? That doesn't make sense. Okay, Firebolts. Ah. Woo, did that through the mist. Ha <laughs> Go wee! Sorry about any owners of uh, goats watching this playthrough. I don't do that out of malicious intent. I just do it because it's fun to watch them go flying. I do apologize if it upsets you. Oh, that's a uh, ice wraith over there. Where are you going? There we go. Did not expect to be able to do that. Why am I overweight? Oh, yeah, I haven't uh, upped my uh, stamina yet. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, what we will do until then is uh, use Whirlwind Sprint to head up the mountain. And do stamina attacks, because they force you to uh, go forward a little bit. And I think I'm going to kill this Whatever this is, yeah. With the sword. And that'll level me up right there. Cool. Awesome. Alright, well, level me up then. To stamina. And I think I'm going to drop it into heavy armor for this one. Yeah, let's do that. And then the next one I'll put into cushion, I think. Depends on how my other stats are looking at the time. I'm still overweight? Really? What? What is putting me over? I don't even know. Um. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. I hate it when that happens. You don't even know what's fucking you over, but you know it's not good. Hmm. See what ingredients I don't need to be carrying. I have a lot of death bells. I don't really need all those death bells. I don't really need all these either. So I'll drump. I'll drump. I'll dump those. Drump, motherfucker. I'm. I cannot speak English anymore. Hmm. Excuse me. And the leather I don't need either. Not really. Yeah, I don't need it. I'll dump all that. And the strips I'll keep carrying because I do kind of need those for other things. And firebolts. It's always good to have that out. Especially when you're in this sort of confined, well not confined, wide open space where you need a strong spell. That's what I meant to say. Whoop. Whee! <laughs> Alright. We'll keep going now. Oh, okay. Oops, uh oh. I forgot I did not have the right spell equipped. Well, not spell, shout. Where? Where are you going? Little sh- 
shit. There we go. Alright. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. I did not mean to pick up the ice wraith teeth. Uh, don't need those. I'll drop it. There. Okay. The ice wraith essence I can always use for, you know, when I fight against frost dragons. Because there's a lot of them and they will kill me with their breath. It at least keeps me from dying too quickly in that regard. And we'll head further up. Man, I love this armor. Can't wait till I get to Ebony, though, because that looks badass. Alright. Nearly there now. I don't think there's anything else standing in our way. I find it surprising that they added it so the only things that really survive up here are goats and magical creatures. Goats are hardy little fucks, so you can understand the goat part. Whoop, that is really strong wind. I should really not be standing near that. And clear skies. Whoop, that forced me back a little bit too. There we go. Because I'm just barely strong enough to use it, I guess. The throat of the world. And now... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that is Parthenax. I already knew that. I was just playing along with Rem you guys. <laughs> Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. I assumed as much. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Well, I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. That's all right. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. I don't blame you. I'm pretty awesome. Why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evanar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechnin Akib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Run shout. Can you help me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Okay. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Okay. I'll wait on Hear you. Hear my thumb. Feel it in your bones. Wait, are you going to breathe on Nitrate me or on the wall? If you are Dover King. Uh. There you go. I was about to say, I don't right recall. I will. Now this is a uh, quick tidbit, it's a good exploit, and they had never fixed it. You use a soul on Inferno, and then he gives you knowledge that was supposed to go for the second word, but it gives you the third word, as we'll find out very soon. There we go. And... Ta-da! See, I told you. There we go. What you now I have a fully Greet me, made not as Kajit, shout. But as Dova. And there we go. Ah, yes. So strong it even took a huge chunk off of his health. The blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. It probably has been. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would 
not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. This is a really Dova, extreme close-up of your face. You seek your <laughs> weapon against Alduin. I mean, I would have come up here for conversation. I mean, if the situation was different. So, yeah, there's that. The Greybeards didn't even want me to come at all. Mm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. Yeah. But I do not know the Thum you seek, Krosis. Shit. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Hmm. Our Hadrime. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Well then, how can I learn it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? This seems like a... Seems like a philosophical question. I like this world. I don't want it to end. I like that. I'm gonna use it. Ruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Mm -hmm. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Mm. Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Hmm. Those who Fair try point. to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. It's possible. But it's you probable. have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, yeah, that's all right. I will answer your question. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? I never thought about it. Hmm. Dragons like mountains, right? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Oh. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Hmm? Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. You're not wrong. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. So I was right, it only crippled him. It was ended. the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. So are you saying the ancient the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hmm. hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Hmm. 
Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. I see. So how does any of this help me? T. De Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. I see. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound. Uh huh. With the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to. Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. So I'd be able to see into the you past. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Cool. Alright. So do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis. No. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. Okay. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Esbern or Angir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Okay. Look, Thum. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to him once he lands there. That's where he sits. Drem your look. Greetings. Hmm. So, you're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. Alright. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran. You are the first in over a hundred years. Aww. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Hmm. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Yol, because that one's fire, and this guy likes fire. <laughs> In your tongue, the word simply means fire. Yes. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That it is. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? The fire within. Sum Ark Mora. Alrighty, and I will show you what that gives as an active effect. The fire within gives fire breath an extra 25% more damage when using it. And that is godlike if you use the shout usually all the time, like I do. And I need to go visit a shrine of Talos eventually, because I am running... <laughs> On no extra benefit to shouts. So I'll head home. And I think I'll end the episode here. Alright, thank you ever so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat. Playing games for you.